All right, today we got another one that we picked up from a local. Um, bought a quite a few little amps, and I've just been trying to go through them as I bring them in. And this one is a um, Chris 200B. Um, but this is a little four tube amp. <laughs> All outputs, you know, come to find out. This little tube over here is a um, keying tube. All that does is key the relay behind it. It's not a driver tube. Um, and some of these old amps before transistors took over, um, they used tubes to key the relay. And that's what that does. That little tube there um, keys the relay. So we don't really count that when we talk about the output and the capabilities of this amp. So, you know, we got this amp and we capped it and got it going. Um, it had some bad wiring, bad soldering in the power supply there. So put some new caps in, a new cap underneath and uh, touched up some of the solder joints. But one of the things we notice is, um, even if you look at the plate on top, you know, um, no parasitics, by the way. Um, but anyway, um, all four tubes are outputs. Um, so no driver tube on it and I thought that's neat I, well, I've never seen that before on a Chris amp so what I did is I tried to look up the Chris amps to see you know if this matched another model or what it matched and this is what I came up with for the uh, tubes complement for a uh, for all the Chris amps and this one's at the top you know it's marked a 200 B so I guess it's supposed to have just two um, six JU6 tubes in it. And the tubes are, the outputs are it's JU6, but I think somebody modded it and put two more in it. Um, I think the one, you know, uh, in the back there, close to the transformer, and the one on the left here have a... Um, uh, non-factory socket in it so I think somebody modded it for four tubes and it's not gonna do a ton of lots anyway with that um, little transformer in it I'd say that transformer is only good for a couple hundred watts um, or else you're gonna kill it so anyway we got it all working um, good tubes in it and it was like let's see what it does so anyway a um, little four watt radio trusty Motorola um, this amp, before I key it down, um, is what I would consider a total CB amp. Um, it doesn't have any of the uh, ham stuff, ham bands. It's got um, basically 10 meters in it only. I think it can be modded for 6 meters. Or, uh, well, it's made for 11 meters. I don't know if I said 10. But it can be modded for 10 or 6 meters. But it's a single band you know made for CB um, no parasitics in it um, a lot of small amps don't have a, a safety choke in case the bl plate blocking capacitor goes and this one doesn't have that it's just a basic amp about as uh, cheap as you can make one and still get output you know you got your power supply over here you know, you got the tubes with no parasitic and no extra uh, um, stuff, no safety stuff, a regular um, paper capacitor, you know, basic tune and load, uh, two pole relay, and it uses a trick on the choke that it switches a choke in on the input side that grounds the tubes, and that's how they um, cut the tubes off from. Um, um, sucking power even when it says standby. A lot of CB amps do that. Um, a better way would be to use another um, contact or pole on the relay to cut the power on and off. But um, the cheap way is to use that little gimmick or whatever on the with the choke. And if you see that choke there connected to the um, relay. Uh, that grounds the cathode, or basically grounds the tube when you um, key the relay, and that turns on power to the tube. So the the tubes have high voltage on them, but it's not really uh, conducting until you uh, key the relay up. Um, that's the way they get uh, do that for cheap. 
Eh, we're not going to do underneath today because we got it on and it's warmed up and we don't feel like discharging it or try to turn it over. But it's very clean inside and it's not that much underneath. You know, it's got the low voltage um, power supply um, stuff and um, basically the tube socket wiring and all that. Um, and not that many components underneath, but we're not going to show underneath today. So, okay, I guess enough talking. Um, we're going to key up the uh, Chris with the radio only into the dummy load as always uh, MHA watt meter calibrated to a um, to a bird hello Wait, am I on peak or average I think I'm on peak so let's go to average okay average watts 4 watt radio did key in 30 audio talking about 40 um, swing to 50 actually to do a little bit more than that if I tuned it for the radio um, drive but I actually tuned it for the uh, JV12 with the JB12 drive in it so uh, without any more fanfare um, let's turn the JB12 on and turn this on standby and this is just the JB12 what we're gonna put into the amp now audio audio still on the 200 watt scale so we did keen about six or seven audio talking about 25 and um, we're gonna put the uh, JB12 on peak show you peak watts we're gonna put into the Chris audio audio about 35 Audio, 35 watts peak. That's all we're going to dump into it. And we're going to put it back on average. <clears throat> Turn the Chris on. And key it down with the JB12 going into it. Audio, audio. Kind of a big difference, right? Instead of 40, 50 watts. Hello, hello. Audio. Swinging about 120. Hello, 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 hello whistling to about 160 and that's still with average with the JB12 into it and we're gonna put it on peak right quick audio audio so it's you know pinning the uh, 200 watt scale in the corner so we're doing about 225 peak so anyway um, that's about it to this um, Chris amps I looked at the schematics for all of them when I was making this um, um, you know, some people like them. I don't know. It just seems like a very basic, about as cheap as you can make it and still have good output and it works. But um, no thrills, no nothing special. That's a very basic amp. And again, I think somebody modded this one and um, put in them extra tubes. No input tuning, you know, none of that stuff. Um, and we're going to turn the JB12 off and just show you the input SWR on this thing with the digital watt meter there. Two and a half to one. And no way to tune it down unless I mod that. Uh, talking to uh, audio, audio. <sighs> Thought I saw it jump up to three at one time. But anyway, that's the watts going into it. Two and a half um, um, SWR. Watts going into it on the left. No way to tune that down unless I mod the thing. But I'm going to leave it alone. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. No hiccups and no problems. So anyway, that's it at this little uh, Chris 200B I picked up. It actually, it's kind of cute when I put the covers on too. It's a nice looking little amp. But um, I don't know. I'm not my favorite. I still like modulator type amps myself. And this is basic grounded grid. Um, grounded grids. Um, so not a lot of swing in it. And again, I put the JB12 in front of it to get the, the swing and the output I like. And probably if I kept it or was going to run it, that's the way I would run it. Or put a big bad tram in front of it and let the tram do the uh, modulating for it. Alright, I guess I've talked enough on this one. Um, that's it. Be safe. Bye.